hi there. So I'm going to see how far I get um, without my cat uh, walking through this shot. Uh, just a little quick video. I'm just back from LA and I will be doing some longer videos of my trip there to different art stores and um, what I got. So those that'll probably be about a few vi videos in itself. So just a quick, um, not really an unboxing because I unboxed uh, this Jackson's delivery yesterday because it looked like it had um, maybe missing something. The back end of it wasn't um, taped up like it should have been. <clears throat> so I wanted to get it unboxed as quickly as possible. It arrived the day before we got back. Um, and then this book, which you'll see in a bit, there's a cat. Um, I had pre-ordered and it, um, it came yesterday. So it was a nice kind of welcome back. Um, I didn't really want to come back. We got snow while we were away in Toronto and we'd had a pretty good winter without snow, but the, I think days before we left, there was a snowfall and then a snowfall while we were away. And so I just, I hate the snow so much. I know I shouldn't complain, but um, I did get a few days away. But, you know, when you get used to, you know, just walking out the door without putting layers on um, or just seeing green and lusciousness and, you know, being to sit outside and sketch. I just loved that so much. I wish I could have stayed. Um, but, you know, reality beckons and it's back to work. And part of that back to work is why I ordered these things. I have a commission coming up and it involves um, five by sevens. And I'll talk about that some other time, um, but it's really exciting commission. Uh, it's a series of um, uh, building portraits. So I'm really excited to get started. And this was perfect that it was, you know, it's already um, the size that I need. The Jackson um, watercolor blocks are fantastic and they are blocks. So I don't have to worry about, you know, curling so much or anything like that or cutting down um, sheets or, you know, wasting part of paper for like something eight by 10 or um, some of the other brands use. So this is perfect. And Jackson's was having a drawing sale. So I also got um, some more of, not Caran d'Ache, but, um, Derwent Light Fast Pencils. I bought this a set a long time ago. I think it was, might have been like 36 set. I'm not sure. And I added to it over the last few years. But I didn't have these colors. So I'll swatch these out for you. Light Fast are, as the name suggests, um, highly light fast. Uh, colored pencils and they're gorgeous to use um, usually quite soft uh, on par with the Caron d'Ache Luminance pencils and um, some people prefer these some people prefer the Luminance I'm not bothered either way I have both so uh, I will swatch those out and the other thing I got was um, someone had recommended the Hybrid Gel Grip, um, I'm not sure if this is Pentel, I think it is, yes, uh, for white, white pen. So uh, my other ones have dried up, so I thought I would try that. And I always wanted a clutch pencil, so I got one, this is a Koi Noor clutch pencil. And so the lead just goes in there and I forgot to buy the leads. So this is just an empty vessel for now. But once I get the leads, that'll be good to go. And I think I'll like that for um, my life drawing classes. 
And then this was also, I believe, recommended. It might have been um, from Domestica course uh, that I was doing. It's a uh, Tombow and it's a double pen. So it's black on that side, black nib there, and I believe gray on this side. So it's kind of neat pen, but I'll swatch those out in a minute. And then the other thing that arrived was uh, Phil Dean's Urban Watercolor. I have his Urban Sketcher or Urban Drawing book already. And when I saw that he was writing this and there was a pre-order available, I decided to um, pay up for that. And, and I kind of forgot all about it and realized I got, I think I, I pre-ordered on Amazon. And so they let me know that it was going to be delivered soon. Um, publication date was coming up. So that's what arrived yesterday. They said it was going to be the seventh and it was. So I'm looking forward to maybe having a cup of tea later on. Um, today is the day that I'm just trying to get my head around things, um, do videos like this and get prepared to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a write off because we had a red eye flight and it was delayed. So we were, we didn't take off until one in the morning, um, Las Vegas time because we, we landed in Las Vegas and drove to LA and then drove back. And um, so anyways, we got in at 7.30 uh, Toronto time, which would have been LA uh, 4.30 in the morning. And um, so we were <laughs> totally knackered. And um, I had to have two naps yesterday, but I think I'm on the road to recovery now. I woke up at, um, a normal time. Well, I woke up at Zoe time, which starts about 3 a.m. and then 4 a.m. and then 5 a.m. Um, but I'm feeling a lot more lucid today, let's just say. So this is just a gorgeous book. I love, I follow um, him on Instagram and I'll put that in the um, description box. My brain's not fully, <laughs> fully there yet. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing this. Or looking, oh, I'm looking forward to reading this and really pouring over it and maybe having another um, look, revisit of his, um, <clears throat> his earlier book, Urban Drawing. So that's what came there. Let me just get some paper and I'll sketch these out. So first up is Burnt Sienna. I didn't get this with the set that I got and I never bothered to reorder it because I thought, oh, I have Burnt Sienna in other colored pencils, but this one looked different enough that I thought I would add it to the collection. And as always, I will put up um, a color chart. I may update the color chart that I already have for Lightfast. Um, it'll be on my website. And this is the Moonstone. Really nice, kind of a warm gray. And then I have Fossil Gray. Now I kind of just randomly picked these colors. I, I'm a sucker for grays, as you'll know um, if you've watched my channel. I'm also a sucker for greens. And I have a lot of um, the light fast greens already, especially because I bought a pack you'll see in an earlier video of my trip to Buffalo um, to Hyatt's art supply store. And they have these little like um, kind of grab bags 
and um, they had a whole bunch of green uh, light fast pencils which is just like perfect for me now this is dusky pink I thought this would be good to add to my kind of flesh colors that I want to do a lot more um, figure uh, and portraits sketching so I thought I would add that and same with the sienna and the burnt sienna sienna cinnamon see the the brain's not firing totally well just yet I thought those would be nice to add to the travel um, pencils that I already take and then this is mountain green the one green that I got and it's a really nice really really nice green so there you go burnt sienna moonstone fossil gray uh, dusky pink cinnamon and mountain green and then this pen is pretty neat so this is a gray side and you can do really thin to really quite thick lines and then the black side is much the same it's the same sort of nib I believe so I'm not going to include that in the outtakes reel but yes they have the same nibs it just looks a little bit different because of the gray but that really shot across the room um yeah so let's see the white gel that's quite nice you don't really have to work it like some of the white gel pens so there we go that's the little mini haul while I was away and then there'll be uh, larger hauls videos to come from my trip to LA and that will be up as soon as I can get the videos up and um, edited and all that sort of thing so thanks very much um, if you have any comments or any questions, feel free to ask. You can follow me at Eileen Riley Arts on Instagram. And um, that's about it for now. Thanks. Bye.